Hey guys, today I'm going to test the Unreal Engine 5 by using the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. So now, I'm going to show you step by step first. You can just scroll down, go to my video description. This is the summary of the video. We really focus on two topics, how to assign the specific GPU for Unreal Engine 5, and how to set the graphic in Unreal Engine 5, and we are going to test it. How well, how well the performance, right? So now, the first thing what you are going to make sure is you already install the GPU probably. Now I have the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. I right click here, check the task manager, click the performance. And now I already make sure that I already installed the GPU properly. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti and now you can see I have two GPU first what you are going to learn is how to assign the specific GPU just for your Unreal Engine 5 right first step you have to go and find your Unreal Engine 5 the specific folder this is the directory and then to double click the engines you should be able to see a binary folder Windows 64, this is my Windows 10. Now you can see there are so many files here you have to view in types. And then to look at the applications, the one that we are going to run the Unreal Engine 5 in Windows 10 is the Unreal Editor, this one. So now next, you are going to assign the specific GPU to run the Unreal Engine 5. But how are you going to assign? First, you have to go to the graphic setting, you type it here, graphic setting. You type the graphic here, it will show you graphic setting. And then choose an app to set the preferences. The preference you have to browse. And where to browse, you have to browse the Unreal Editors directory, the folder. Click here, right click copy, and then click here, right click paste. And always remember to press enter. Now, you just scroll down, go and select the Unreal Editor. Double click it. Now you see, let window to decide. Now this is the default, to let the window to decide. You have to click the options. And then you choose the, you choose the GPU, which is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Choose this one. By doing so, you will make sure that you will run the Unreal Engine by using the, G the default GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce. You have to choose it properly. If, if you don't, you let the window decide. Sometimes it decides to run in another, another GPU. It can be the, the MD or any of the integrated GPU. You have to choose it to make sure it runs with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX. So now I save it. Unreal Editor, it will run with the specific GPU. Now I can close this. Next, I double click the Unreal Editor. Before that, you open your Task Manager. You right click here, open the Task Manager, click the performance, and point on your GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. And here you can check all the performance. All right? This is the way how are we going to check. Next. You can just go back to the directory, double click the Unreal Editor. Now you are going to run run the Unreal Engine 5, allow access. Alright, this is my first time to run the Unreal Editor in this operating system. Now you just have a check now, GPU is running. I changed the graph to logical process. You can See now, GPU is running in order to open the Unreal Engine 5 editor. And you see both GPU are running as well. You have to focus on the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Alright, so now, as demo, I'm going to create a new project as a new game, a third person game for example. And then set here, I choose blueprint, here is 
project name I just name it as GPU okay. RTX 3 RTX 3060 Ti test right now I click create it is creating a new a new project where I'm going to test the graphic and test the performance of the GPU now you can see this here right you click the setting and then you just want to find the graphic setting here it is at here then engine scalability at the beginning you you will just test with the low graphic once you test with the low graphic you can see everything are very rough when you play you can just check the GPU's performance. Now this is the lowest graphic setting. Alright. So it is quite smooth. It never lag. And you check your GPU. NVIDIA it just run a little bit. What about now if I change it? You see, once I close the game it and minimize it, it already back to just about 5% now I change the setting again just go to the engine scalability setting I choose the best the cinematic wow the cinematic so this is the best graphic setting and you check it wow it used the GPU up to how many percent it is near near to 80 and 90 percent right so now the best graphic setting change to cinematic all right so now we change it again now already cinematic when I play when I play this is the best graphic setting that you can have is the cinematic it is very smooth it's really smooth let me check the GPU wow the GPU already up to about 90% alright let's check it you can run until about 80 and 90% and how about the CPU my CPU it is only up to about 70% on average but the GPU you, can see, you, you look at the graph now it is minimized now if I run again and play this is the, the cinematic graphic in Unreal Engine how many percent it, it, it is up to there let's check it alright luckily it is not 100% this is the best graphic setting that I can have it already up to 80 and 90% that means to run to run the cinematic the engine scalability cinematic 100% resolution it is really like fully utilized almost fully utilized my RTX 3060 Ti GPU right anyway that is quite smooth that means if you add more features if you add more 3d models into this scenes it may overload but always remember you can just go to the setting and change it to lower the graphic setting right that's really awesome this is quite a an awesome graphic card the gpu the G nvidia geforce rtx 3060 and that's all for today about about the testing of the unreal engine 5 cinematic graphic setting just by using the nvidia geforce rtx 3060 ti and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you do all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.